Yeah, because we got the copper key. Yeah, nice shot for me. Good work, me. Because we got the copper key, we can open this door. To a friend you might know. Only if you played this game. No, it's not him. This guy is very different. Sup, mate? Can, can we please? Sir. Whew, you saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you now. I'm Grave Robber Blige. As thanks, I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? This guy is quite different to Patches, which is pretty rad actually. So Half Moon, Late Moon, Fresh Spice, Soul Remains, Sticky White stuff. It's a bit of a rip, but it's pretty, pretty useful. That said, in the next part of Shrine of Storms, we can farm this pretty easily. I mean, we're still going to like evacuate constantly, but still. Um, Shard of Cloudstone. Don't really get the point because Storm Beast will drop it very easily. And at the very end of this world, there's a nice easy way to farm this stuff. But if you really want magic resistance, fine. But anyway, I'm going to be duping and all that. Um, I don't think... I might have one shield infused with Cloudstone as a backup, but not too high at this point. I'm staying relatively low in terms of upgrades. So short, long, um, bows and leather shield. Hmm, I forget if we've got these. I'm pretty... we got the compound, I don't know if we have these. So you'll see this is, um, well, got the same range as the compound long. A compound longbow is always going to be best. I mentioned this um, in a different part. And I was kind of alluding to it. Um, a, a compound longbow infused with the sticky infusion is pretty much the best you are going to get as a bow in the whole game. Unless you have nowhere near enough strength or dex to wield it. And if you're very low dex, a lava bow, which is made from a boss soul, will probably air damage it. Leather shield will buy this. A small leather bound shield. It is light and easy to handle and has high defensive ability for its size. Hunters and the like regularly use this shield. So yeah, you start off with a battle axe in this if you're a hunter. 90 block and 54 um, guard break ain't bad. You can't upgrade this, but really, for one like one unit of weight, this thing's pretty sick, especially if you've got some way to regen health. Um, we'll look at this real quick. Um, basic ranged weapon. Uh, yeah, they're not really throwing, are they? A large hunter's bow with a longer range than a small bow. Yeah. We look at the falchion and scimitar. Um, he's got arrows, wooden arrows. So, standard arrow used with a bow. An all wooden arrow, it is roughly made and somewhat inferior. But it is light and cheap. He, this is what I wanted to get here for. The leather set. So, unlike the thief, this doesn't have a ton of, um ton of different descriptions for each, each um, different individual piece. So, a leather cap. I don't know why I paused. I'm not having a stroke, I swear. A leather hat suitable for a field acti for field activity, <laughs> not a, widely used by hunters. Leather armor suitable for field activity, widely used by hunters. Leather gloves suited for, yeah. Leather shoes suited for, yeah. Let's get this dialogue first. Satisfied. I'll have more for you next time. May we have a long and fruitful relationship. We'll whack on the armor first. Just to highlight a point. So as you can see, we're gaining one point basically across the board by magic. We're gaining two across the board. Yep. So perfect. This armor is actually very good. The head looks a little dumb. But what are you going to do? Renowned Hero Soul. Let's have another conversation with Blige. Oh, hello. I'm here to please. What can I get you? Let's have a conversation, shall we? This shrine was used in a ghastly ritual by an ancient tribe. They've long perished, and now demons have put the souls to work. At least here you're killing things that are already dead, like... Skeletons and shadow lurkers. That's what I like about this place. Better than killing those poor, soul-starved humans, right? 
harder than killing those poor, soul-starved humans, right? Nothing suits your fancy. Well, don't be too frugal. A bit of indulgence goes a long way. I like this guy. Um, yeah, people aren't too big on some of the voice acting in, in this game. And oh, sight that hello. line in particular is I mean, not great. But I like it. Nothing suits your fancy. Well, don't be too frugal. A bit of indulgence goes a long way. The first line is a bit fast, but I like it still. So, as he was pointing out, also, na 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 na, skeleton warriors, get it? Haha. <laughs> yeah, as he was saying, um, basically what I was saying, this place was used for some bullshit, religious stuff. I should I should be respectful here, um, and its consequence. Hey, illusionary wall. Um, there was some sacrificial stuff going on here for ghastly ritual. So there we go. That's that. Yeah, so these guys were big into the pagan rituals as such. Oh boy, a ladder. Let's do let's deal with this first. Um They are big worshippers of some pretty interesting looking gods. One we're gonna meet at the end of this level. We'll take him out. Man, I forgot how much these guys give in souls. So bloody much. So thankfully for the archers, it's a one-two. Um, normal guys, it's a free hit. Unless we get them on the instability frames. Uh-oh. Fuck. So that's what I was talking about. Um, that hit. Yeah, you gotta be careful on the wake up with these guys. So soul remains will work on them. So let's just try to demonstrate. I'm pretty sure at least. There we go. Yeah, attack the wall, idiot. He is so stupid. And now back to the wall. So, I was going to talk about this initially, and I realized from recording, I start so many bloody sentences with, so. Let's whack this on while I discuss. Um, Bladestone. There is a ye old joke regarding Bladestone and its scarcity. Apparently, to get Bladestone, you need to be on... Pure black wall tendency, or at least that's the highest um, chance you'll get to get it. I'm pretty sure you basically have to be in black to have a chance to get it. Um, it only drops from these guys, who, as you saw, are tough motherfuckers. Um, also, yes, my HP is regening. We'll talk about that in a sec. Um, so, it's a real bloody pain to get those. So, interesting thing about luck. I was talking about item discovery. So supposedly, and look, this could be wrong. Yeah, you stay mad, idiots. Um, the way luck works is it makes it more likely for you to get a drop, not the quality of a drop. So this means if you have high luck, can actually make it harder to get the pure blade stone. Supposedly. Again, supposedly. So that just might mean you get like the shitty blade stone, a soul remains, or an uchi, and you make it a lot harder to actually get pure. But hey, that could be wrong. So the Adjudicator Shield. A large wooden shield that depicts a brightly coloured scene of the deceased being judged. We'll look at that in a second. On the other side, an epigram is carved in old script. Cowardly acts and the eating of birds must not be the deeds of a hero of storms. If the one being judged displeases the Adjudicator's master, the Golden Crow, but a sea soul will be gnawed upon until there is not but bones remaining. Paraphrase that a little. I also regen HP a little, you know. So you can get a pretty good look there, but let's have a look here. So that's one of their gods, the adjudicator. And yeah, he's got a bird on him. Or rather the bird is the adjudicator, supposedly. I don't know. I think the you know, I think big yellow blobby dude with a knife with a machete of some descript is the adjudicator the crow is the judge himself so 90 50 and i think fire resistance is a little low than typical because because it's a wooden shield but really um if you go in a faith build and you've got a um a blessed infused weapon combined with a ring we'll be getting soon you're gonna have insane hp regen whoops what am i doing here Bloody hell, what am I doing? 
a little bit of indulgence goes a long way, I've been told. So, where the hell is it? Fucking Christ, wow. Wow, I'm doing amazingly today. I am going to mix it up. I just want to get through this part first before I, you know, try some different weapons. So, as I was kind of alluding to, normally, on a, well, those kind of popped in. Danger, watch yourself. Um, as I was alluding to, often, like Latria, I'll come here pretty quickly on a new playthrough. If it's not black tendency, it's pretty easy to just run it and fight the skeletons, even with base weapons. Oh shit, I've got to climb again. Fucking fantastic. Um, because yeah, I like the lever armor. And you can get that shield there, you can get the crescent falchion, which honestly I don't like using. But I'll keep it on me for um, MP regen. And you get some, some generally cool stuff here. Hello you. So these are the gold skeletons. Unfortunately, we are seeing them already amped up. You'll get a proper look at them on the cliff round back. Now, to just demonstrate. Yeah. These guys are tough. So I'm hoping they'll show that one specific move. That'll fuck your guard as you just saw. Uh-oh. Is he going to do it? With your two hands, he's going for a very Souls trademark move. So this is that weird thing I was talking about with poise. These guys don't really have it though, which is odd. Given they're bigger, faster, and stronger too. They're the first member of the skeleton crew. Not really. Get shit on, my friend. So yeah, good amount of Souls. Very good. There's treasure ahead. Oh, I have noticed. I've noticed very much. Sorry, if I cut that out, I yawned. Um, let's try to snipe this guy. The hitboxes are generally pretty generous, but sometimes. Die, you bastard. So that's what they normally look like. And that's the Black Phantom version. Oi, shit lords. So when we come around that corner, we're going to have to deal with two. The actual corner we're going to come around is there. And there's one guy right there. Let's try and see if we can get headshots. Heh 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 heh, idiot. Um, soul remains can be used to make him walk off cliffs. I might consider that. Depending. So we can't jump down there, but that's very close to the boss room. Um, and just past there is that tower there is where we can do the skip. There's that little cliffside path you can't really see. You might be able to make it out. Um, you come along there, Crystal Lizard, and just in the ruins there. You can see you can see that item just kind of peeking out around the corner. Um, there's a ring right below us, in fact, called the Grave Robber's Ring. So, you know, useful for someone like Lige, I suppose. Ah, we'll just... Oh. We'll just drop. Oh, look at that. A switch. Of some description. Oh, I wanted to block one to see how much stamina it took. Yeah. This thing is super obvious, but sometimes I just flat out forget... And if you're low level, like I am normally, you get fucking wrecked. Hard. Knock you out, mama said knock you out. Come here, you. It's you! It's sti Stingy, the Stingray. Don't drop anything, don't drop anything, don't drop anything. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. No, it's, no. no, it's not worth it. I won't. If you don't have the thief ring, this little part can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Or whichever body part you'd rather it be a pain in. So, as you might be able to see, there's some weirdness in terms of aiming. See you later, fucker. Yeah, so that's a tried and true souls thing, ain't it? Uh, yeah, because I've already thinned out the herd a little. The proverbial herd. A flock, I suppose you could describe them as. Storm Beasts. But yeah, they will fuck you up if you don't have the Thief Ring. Now this guy. Obviously, we want to get around 
Um, we don't want to get behind him though, like that. If anything, I kind of want to lure him this way. Come on, you. So these are the ones that are weak to magic. But I was far more scared of Black Katana friends. They have a good block on that. That should have done way more. No backstab, damn. So if I had, um... Well, I was going to say a dragon weapon. Um, they'd be doing more damage probably, but... Given my 22 strength, I don't think I'm doing too badly. Hmm, speaking of which, I don't know what I'm going to be upgrading. <sighs> I remember last time I was getting annoyed with high messages, but fuck it. No, it can't be because someone saw my episodes, those haven't come out yet. Hell, if anyone actually playing this game is still, um, well, watching this, sick. Yeah, Fifering's kind of fucking with this. Okay, this could be a bad idea. So as you saw, these guys have pretty sick knockback. Nice. They are also sometimes just kind of break, I guess. Huh. Alright, my friend. Let's bait you. So this is where Demon's Prank could actually be quite on. Fuck it, Christ, man. Whoa. Yeah, hitboxes, am I right? Yeah, so they have tracking like no tomorrow. When they want it. I honestly wonder how Elden Ring is going to handle tracking. Not something most people are going to really care about until we get the game, most likely. Or more word on the game, but yeah. Yeah, flame weapon. Pretty, uh, pretty solid. Fire and magic in general against these guys. But we're doing alright, all things considered. Alright, now this could be kind of nasty. Ah, fuck it. Let's try this. Let's see how good my aim is. It's probably shit. Oh, so that's only an archer there. I think his mate saw me. No, he didn't. We can't outfire him. Okay, so we can do this at least. I'd rather not, but we are so close to the boss. Fuck. Beautiful. There was me trying to use the bow. Now, we ain't trading with this guy. I've come too far to fuck this up now. Fuck you. Bladestone. So, yeah, um, if you want to go a dex build, getting pure bladestones a pain. So, there's a reason I don't really play dex builds in this game. There is an alternative called Sucker Stone, which I believe we will get a little bit of in the next part of this area, in um, 4-2. But otherwise, it is in 5-2. 100%. You can get a little bit in 5-1, actually, in Valley of Defilement. But, regardless, yeah. There's treasure ahead indeed. Huh. What's your problem? Look at that treasure. Oh, don't worry. We'll be getting to that soon enough. Um, not today, though. Most likely. 51 minutes. Okay. Well. Hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know how far we're going for this session. I could poke my head into Valley, but I'd, ra I'd almost rather not today. Hmm. I was going to record more, so maybe we just should. Because I can't go to 1-3... 2-2, two, two, I'd like to do, but, um, the boss is going to be a pain. Uh, he's the one, when we beat, we can use his soul to, uh, give the blacksmith Ed to get, up. Uh, wait, no, bolt, I forget which is which. Yeah, it's blacksmith Ed. It's the one in Stone Fang. We give the red hot demon soul from the boss, and he can do um, boss weapons up, up and up. So, yep. Vaulting. One cool thing I um, saw with the... Uh, actually, we'll just check. Yeah, same thing. Just a chunk. One cool thing about the um, redone tutorial area. Cool ring, by the way. Of um, the demo of Demon Souls. Um, the remake Demon Souls, I should say, rather. Is that um, that area where we drop off um, right near um, the first Archstone. Where all the little dreglings are. 
in that open courtyard. They put a uh, they put a little fence, so that actually teaches you to vault over it, because that's one thing the tutorial never had. So that's nice at least. That's good they considered that, because yeah, it's not a mechanic really used. Boy, I'm stupid. You can do that anyway, but who cares? All right, so yeah, there's a lot of debris, and I like my Dark Souls too and all that. It gets knocked way harder than it should. I'll look at the ring in a sec, by the way. But, yeah, that ring on the way to the King's Castle, on the way to Drang Lake Castle, is a bit crappy. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a shame. They never quite fixed that. That's the thing. They could have just made it like Ganon's Castle. Just have it floating. Like, have it on an outcropping surrounded by, not lava, but just a mountain. Like a valley or something. They kind of do that anyway. So, I don't know. Hey, it's a miracle Dark Souls 2 is, is as good as it is. So, Grave Robber's Ring. An ancient Topaz Ring. It subdues your souls, making your soul plur not sing singular, not plural, making it difficult to be detected by Black Phantoms. Yeah, harder for Black Phantoms to detect. Yeah, this is the ring I was talking about um, back in Latria. That, that one Black Phantom is using. Also, fuck this. So not a lot of stamina, at least. Oh. Yeah, it's like Osiris, isn't it? Is that hearing a weird dragon baby cry, we're hearing a bird. Caw 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 caw, tookie tookie. Hey, fuck boy. No mercy for stooges. Bruz. There we go, mate. A shard of bladesome. Man, if I got pure bladesome, that'd be hilarious. You say that, but apparently I can't. If it was a summon sign right here, that'd be sick. Now, that's the, that's the advantage of streaming, I suppose. Yeah, it's kind of harder to make out for him because of, because of the dark complexion of the skeleton, but yeah. Um, they've all got the same anatomy, but just different colors. Man, if someone invaded me right now, I feel really fucking bad for him. Radio. Oh, well, before we go in, we got one more ring to look at, don't we? Regenerator's Ring. A strange ring of unknown origin. Recovers HP a little at a time. Double ellipses, double foot stop. Odd. There is a green jewel in the center of its unique design, inside of which is encased a thick liquid. Yeah, so if you whack on the Adjudicator Shield, this and the Blessed Weapon... You're pretty good. And on top of that, there's a miracle we will get from this boss. That will make that even more potent. There is a reason HP regen's not as good as you'd hope it would be in all the other games. Um, what is it? In Dark Souls 1, there's Sanctus. And there's, like, Replenishment and bows. 2 has a bit more, and 3 really doesn't want you to be making an HP regen build. I think probably 2 is the best bet you've got at it, but who knows. Just appreciate this music. Now, I don't know if we're safe here. The Thief Ring might be contributing to this. Yep. So, this is the Adjudicator. Someone... Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, so, hitting through hitting through walls and floors. Uh, I guess I was talking out of my ass, wasn't I? I'm probably gonna die. How the fuck did I... Oh, okay. So, you didn't even get a proper look at the boss. Um... But I can describe exactly what happened. Actually, you technically did. On the shield. Hey, can show off the shortcut now. Perfect. Oh, great. Um. Huh. Guess I don't really need this, so that's, uh... There's all the tension. That kind of fucking sucked. Ah, whoops. Wow. Huh, that was lame. Oh, boy, it's gonna be pure black now. Huh. Oh boy, hope I don't leave. That would suck. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Man, that, that was really dumb. I was trying to take my time to just admire the music and enjoy it. Yeah, we'll look at those in a bit. Ah, oh, that's lame. I'm sorry about that. Oh yeah, so over here you can do a bit of a skip to get up the cliff. I don't think it's... Is it here? No, it's just... That's safe ways. 
I believe you can do it on the stairs. Hey, fuck boy. Let's just eat up just in case. I don't want to die with 20,000 souls on the line. And honestly, that just makes it a real pain for you guys to watch. Yeah, so I was kind of saying, this is where wheel skeletons come from. Kinda. Other than, you know, Berserk. Because Miyazaki likes Berserk, so that's a thing we have in common. See Miyazaki, maybe I'm good enough for your proverbial daughter that is Dark Souls. I'll marry it one day. That's a joke. I swear. I made that joke in Zelda. No P, no one rightfully watched. <laughs> uh, Self-depreciating humor, eh? Come on, you. Well, this is kind of lame. Maybe we just do this. Oh yeah, so we had didn't we didn't really get lucky, but these um, archer skeletons will drop. Holy arrows, which deal magic damage. Which is pretty cool. Now, off the top of my head, both that deal magic, I... Is it? I can't remember. There is one crossbow that will deal magic, but honestly, it's not very good, though. I mean, cross... Yeah, I, I'm happy I checked. Because it... We'll try it again. Because, yes, crossbows are not very good in this game, period. One thing I meant to check was, um... Looking back at the footage of when I was fighting that black phantom, she blocked with her crossbow. So I need to check if you can do that, or if that was just like that kind of weird bug that happens when NPC swap. It happens with Hodrick in Dark Souls 3 or something. I don't remember exactly what it is. Is this a whole... Okay, as long as that's not a get stuck thing. Oh yeah, I meant to show this off, so we'll talk about this. So... If you walk on top of these rocks, I believe it's in that little space between the three of them. Ah, uh, you can get jammed. And it fucking sucks as consequence. Because you are stuck. Uh, without using the... Without using the next seal binding, shout of action, or evacuate. You gotta hope something kills you, because you're stuck. If you quit out, something might change. I can't recall exactly. Yeah, also, this guy's a little weird with his acro range, as you can see just a little odd. Man, I'm playing a little ballsy with my stamina, but who cares. Hey, the Shodol! A lot of people are going to recognize that, most likely. Unless you've only played Bloodborne, in which case, well, if you're here for Astral Chain and nothing else, well, again, props for coming along for the journey. And subjecting yourself to such mediocrity. Well, for the meantime, let's think of this and demonstrate something. We'll regen some HP, and you'll be hearing a lot more noise in a second or two. Okay, make that like 10 seconds. Hold on. Hold on. We'll see if we can demonstrate. So, he sees us at least, which means the Storm Beast absolutely can. Speaking of which. Yeah, the hitboxes can be a little weird. That was clearly going to miss, but sometimes it'll be very much in your favour. Like, if I do this... No, okay. I missed. Yeah, the timing's a little weird. Um, I think they've got a little bit more of a hitbox at the back end to make it a little fairer to hit them, which is nice. Nice of the devs. So yeah, that's the roll. And as you'll see... <laughs> what fucking fall damage. Yeah, if that was DS2, we would have lost about half our life. Um, in Dark Souls 3, we probably would have lost like a quarter. Dark Souls 1, yeah, pretty similar to this, I guess. Now, for the meantime, Thief Ring can go back on because fuck it. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lollygag or, something or whatever for the boss. That thing I was meant to mention, you saw the boss, it's the, it's the guy on the shield, the adjudicator. The, that's what's making the bird noises, by the way. An actual bird on a fat blobby thing's head. Yeah. So, it took a little bit of damage without us even looking. Cool thing about this boss, and again, I will harp on about this fucking forever. Also, wow, look at our souls. Just from the run back, that's awesome. Something cool about these bosses is, they're very different to a lot of the other later Dark Souls bosses. Look at the Shodal as well, by the way. So, what happens is, you can only hurt the Adjudicator in a very specific way. 
but it destroying the environment also makes it so um, the rubble can whack it on the head, which is its weak point. So that's a nice little environmental thing they don't really have. Uh, don't really have. Anyway, a unique a what a unique a unique curve sword specifically designed to counter shields. It can be awkward to use, but the wielder who can control it. Uh, well, a wielder who can control it great can greatly reduce the effectiveness of the enemy's guard and lose all hold on the English language they should possess. It has an ominous silhouette and is said to be favoured by a certain group of assassins. Good day, I am Lord Trek of Karim. Please let me out of here. No, no, I have important business, I swear. Please don't kill me earlier, it means you won't get the dingy set. You want that, don't you? Yes. I gave you a sunlight medal. That's less Lord Trek now, but... Yeah. At least he's not Crichton of Mira. Who I genuinely like. I like Peyton Crichton. Alright, so we'll actually get a look at the boss this time. Someone described this music once as Banjo-Kazooie from Hell. And yeah. So here's the Adjudicator. As you can see, uh, he's got a big ass machete. He's got part of a machete protruding from his stomach. Getting hit by that will fucking hurt. One, two, three, four. Uh, I must have missed. Uh oh. That's, this isn't going to be Vanguard. So in all honesty, this boss isn't very hard, but it's pretty cool. So it's not really hard to come in early and just kind of wreck face. I'll um, I'll try to show off some more. So you'll hear that sound. Okay, that sound means we're hitting the weak point, which will stagger it as you saw. We are just bouncing off it. Um, weak point you got to hit a few times, that's why I was counting. Um, and that'll stagger and fall, cause it to fall. For what would nowadays be like a visceral from Bloodborne, I suppose. Uh, as opposed to just whacking it. So this guy's holding two great machetes. So this is one of their gods that was being described on that shield. And you'd send a hero here, and if the bird didn't like, Adjudicator Chan here would eat him up. So that's the history of Adjudicator. Not a, not a very hard boss. Um, I, I could say I should have let myself get hit with the um, shield up to demonstrate how much I'd tank, but... Yeah. The swollen demon soul. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I can't... Like, it's the thing where it's like, I'd like to show off more of a fight, but there's not a lot more to it. Yeah. So, you, you'll you notice that very much the same weakness as a lot of... Well, yeah, a lot of Dark Souls enemies. Um, Souls enemies in general. Strafe to the right. Just hold up your guard and walk around to the right. All you gotta do. Ephemeral eyes. Part of the challenge is getting down to him fast enough, but once you know, it's really not hard. Hell, you can drop and you won't take that much damage. Oh, by the way, if you, uh... If you spawn from that archstone... The second you start to approach this area from underneath... This guy will aggro and start coming at you, so you got to be careful. I don't know how far down he'll come, but I imagine he could easily fall. Speaking of which, let's just check. What's your problem? Fall damage? <laughs> don't even worry, friend. Just don't worry about fall damage. Just think of the treasure. 